and what is going on ladies and gentlemen I am back with another video today and the topic of today is why I believe why I personally believe Call of Duty or any shooter for that matter should have betas now for those of you who don't know what betas are betas are pretty much demos that they release for their game that's online and you get to check the game out for a certain amount of time before the game actually goes up so that the developers get a feel for how we react to the game and it kind of gives them a chance to exploit and deal with some of the bugs and problems that they are potential potentially having that being said this fixes a lot of things like glitches under the under the map glitches flying glitches whatever stupid stuff people can find or may accidentally find sometimes they don't look for this stuff but it's there so I'm gonna talk about why I believe they should have betas but before I do that I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover all of the call of duties and why I believe they should have had betas okay first one I'm gonna start with call of duty got big call of duty 4 now, I'm not going to say any of these games are perfect, but I'm going to start by saying the game, the only, for me, the only noticeable problem that I really had a hard time dealing with was Frag Times 3. Frag, Frag Times 3 was very annoying because it's like a, it's like a, uh, a noob tube in your pocket, essentially. And the grenades added that with Marty Dom, it was, it was completely annoying. Like, I would shoot a guy, kill him. And then, you know, I'm running in that general direction, the same direction I killed the guy, and then a nade just blows me up, and I'm like, what the heck happened? Like, I didn't even hear or see anything. But, you know, due to the nature, that happened. Now, I'm not going to say this broke the game completely and made it so I couldn't play it anymore, but I feel that, you know, if they would have made a beta, this would have been addressed. Now, I know this is Infinity War, and they kind of don't care about their customers, really, but maybe, you know, just down the line if they would have made a beta and they would actually would have cared you know this this could have been you know fixed ahead of time next thing oh no I'm sorry I'm sorry another thing there was a extreme conditioning glitch with the P90 where you, it was built in like so if you use the P90 you get built in extreme conditioning I think added that with extreme conditioning you it's like almost having marathon I believe that's also how it worked but yeah that's another thing but I don't I, I believe that was fixed and it's not really a groundbreaking thing in my opinion now the next game, Call of Duty World at War, I know they had a beta for that, but anybody who played that game on the Xbox, at least console, knows it was dominated by MP40, 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 MP40. MP40 domination was everywhere. Now on PC, that's not so much a problem because the MP40 kicks like, it's like a FAMAS with recoil times a thousand. Like it just kicks everywhere, it is not even good. It's good for hip firing, that's just about it, but... It's it's just not not no 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 it's just it's it's bad it's out of control, and now the next game that so desperately needed a beta. I think we all know what's coming next: Modern Warfare 2, where that game had one-man army dupe tubes, death streaks, and after five years, five years, people are still doing this. They are still running around with one-man army noob tubes, and it's just it's ridiculous. Like it, now that made that was groundbreaking that made the game unplayable because all you had to do was unlock one man army and you didn't even really need the pro version all you needed was just actually you didn't even need one man army you just need a scavenger and noob tubes and danger close really isn't required but that just makes it even stronger and like it just makes the game absolutely frustrating you just can't play it. and i'm pretty sure that if they would have made a beta you know along the line you know hypothetically speaking it could have been fixed now, i know they even though it's been a problem now it still is a problem now they haven't fixed anything and i guess because infinity war just hates every they hate everybody i don't know they just refuse to fix their game for some reason which is kind of odd because that game is widely re widely regarded as the best Call of Duty, you know, minus that problem. If you get to a lobby without noob tubes and stuff, and death streaks and commando and all that stupid stuff, ah, it's it's really fun. It is really fun. Next game is Black Ops. The main problem with that game was Ghost Famas camping. It was so like, honestly, I would give that game an eight because if that game, if that game just did not have that problem actually no I should rate all these games I come to think of it I should rate all of them starting with Call of Duty 4 I would probably give that game like a yeah I give it an 8 yeah I also give Call of Duty 4 an 8 World at War um on PC I give it a 9 but on console it gets like a 7 or a 6 just cause the MP40 was out of, out of control Modern Warfare 2 
without the noob tubes, I give it a straight 10. But with noob tubes, which is pretty much the game itself, <laughs> I'd give it like a 5. It's only something to play when, you know, just you're kill you're legitimately just killing time and you have to go somewhere. Now, um, Black Ops, it that's just the ghost camping. Like you could it could be a six v six TDM. You call in a UAV and probably like one guy out of the six pops up on the radar. And to me that's that was just a big problem. It was just it was playing a game of hide and seek and getting shot in the back by a ghost from us camper was just Oh my god, it, it was really frustrating. It was very, very frustrating. So I'd give that game also an 8. Yeah, yeah, that game is an 8. Because without Ghost from Moss Camping, I would say I really liked the game. But that was just really, really tough. Now, Modern Warfare 3, I believe Lack Comp, you know, that was kind of a problem when the game first came out. But as it, you know, life cycle went on, it got better. And Death Streaks were really a problem. Dead Man's Hand was such a big deal to me because... Uh, it's, it's it's a lot better now. I'm not gonna say it's fixed, but it's a lot better now. But back then it was a really big problem I would just shoot a guy he falls into final stand or whatever it is and blow me up and final stand also is back or oh, not it's back, but it is in that game and I mean uh, That's so stupid. That, uh, that's 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 that ah, stupid stupid bad idea Don't know why it was even in the game after 402 <laughs> He went out and said F you final stand. So I mean, they even I think I even seen where they said it was gone. But I mean, hey, whatever. I think it was second chance actually. But second chance final stand, same thing, nothing different. I believe that game. I mean, to me, they're really. I don't. I mean, if there is some problems, please write in the comment section. But I don't. I can't really think of anything else wrong with that game. There was a lot of camping, but I think it was. Due to, you know, the Moab or the nuke being back in the game at that time. So, I really can't think of anything that's too wrong with that game. Because, I mean, I, I liked it. But, I, I can't think of anything at the moment that made it groundbreaking. Because, I know a lot of people did not like that game. But, the next game is Black Ops 2. And, I believe that game had... The pistols were retarded. LMG snipers and Remingtons are... To me, it's, out of, it's almost out of control. Like, that stuff is out of this world. That could be fixed now, just nerf some of the stuff. I think that's the only problem with uh, in Treyarch games, that they need to nerf a lot of their stuff. And I think they'd have the best. Infinity Ward games, they just get out of control and they just can't be saved. Like, I feel like just they need a heavy dose of Jesus because their games are just, ugh. And last but not least, we have Call of Duty Ghosts. And I already, I, you guys already know where I stand with that game. So I don't, not, nothing can fix that. Nothing can fix that game at all. But the point of all this is that I believe all these problems could have been addressed if they actually cared and made betas. Now, I know Treyarch does care about their fans, but, you know, Infinity Ward, they're Infinity Ward. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do believe if betas are made, these games can turn out a lot better. Like, for instance, Titanfall. Titanfall had a beta, and look at Titanfall. It's fantastic. So that's it for this gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. And... If you enjoyed, drop a rating. So I will catch you in the next one, and have a fantastic day. Peace.